Some consumer news about the wine we buy. It should remind Americans it is buyer beware. Police in Italy have confiscated thousands of bottles of a kind of counterfeit nice wine to be shipped overseas. But in fact, they had substituted the good stuff with low-grade wine and were going to pass it off to us to pay 10 times the value. ABC's Nick Watt is hot on the tail of the Chianti caper. The tip-off came from discerning drinkers who realized the expensive Brunello di Montalcino they were sipping was not the real deal. Today, Italian police swooped, seizing 30,000 bottles of counterfeit Brunello and Chianti Classico and Sangrentino di Montefalco. Worthless wine with a fancy fake label. The problem is, most of us, including me, can't tell the difference between a Chateau Neuf de Pap and Bulgarian table wine. We are ripe for the fooling. Unfortunately, the average American, if you're just going out to a grocery store, I can't guarantee that you're not going to get what you're looking for, and, and, you're, and you might be getting something completely different. According to a French newspaper, a staggering 20% of wine on the worldwide market might be fake. And by the way, the U.S. just became the biggest wine consumer on the planet. We drink 329 million cases a year. Is your favorite wine really what you think it is? Nick Watt, ABC News. Los Angeles.